Okay, I'm going to set the table by telling a story, and I'm going to tell a story about me and my grandson. If you are in this room, you are probably a coach, teacher, or healer, or you're thinking about establishing some sort of enterprise that might involve one of those types of roles. And for those of you that are already engaged in establishing some sort of online business, I am going to guess you're currently experiencing something that looks a lot like what I'm about to share. So this is in 2020, my weekly schedule looked like this. Getting plenty of sleep, spending a little bit of time in the evenings and on the weekends uh, with my family, but most of the time it was work, work, work. So I'm an early riser. I would get up at 5 a.m. I would pretty much be working until 4 p.m. What did that work look like? Well, spending lots of time creating content, spending lots of time posting content to my blog, to my broadcast, to my podcast, to my YouTube channel, and most of all, spending lots of time on social media, either creating content for social media or scrolling through social media to see if anybody was engaging with my content. And so most of the time, I would be spending my time trying to get clients instead of actually doing the work I started my business business for in the first place. For me, the big wake up call was when my son and daughter-in-law announced that they were pregnant on my birthday in 2020, my wife and I raised our hands and said, we want to be the daycare providers. And as soon as the kids left, we looked at each other and said, how the hell are we going to do this? We both work 10 hours a day in our business. How are we going to take care of our grandson for nine hours a day? So I really had to think about what is the lifestyle that I actually want to live? Why am I doing what I'm, what I'm doing? If you look at that schedule, I was living to work. And if I was going to invert that so that I could work to live, to work so that I could fund and fuel the lifestyle I wanted, I was really going to have to change things. So if I decided that I could build a business around this one important belief of mine and it this picture pretty much sums it up in its entirety that's what i built my business around i wanted to build a business that was built around my grandson's nap schedule and my ability to be with him all morning long and through his nap time in the early afternoon. And at this point in time, my this, my schedule literally looks like this on a week to week basis. I work first thing in the morning to make sure I get all of my emails answered and all of my whatever posting or, or content creation I'm gonna do is done over the course of 10 hours, two hours a day, five days a week. I take care of my grandson, from 7 a.m. till noon every day while my wife is doing her thing. And then from noon to four every day, I do whatever I need to do. So sometimes that's working with clients. When I'm not working with clients, most of that time is spent with hanging out with my wife and my grandson. And then I keep my family time locked in in the evenings and on the weekends. And of course, I, I maintain my sleep schedule. And so literally able at this point to make a full-time living with 10 hours a week doing what used to take me 100 hours a week.